Right, good evening people. My name is Jay and I am the FR Gunner. I'm joined here today with Maddox Jr. and Ash. How are you guys today? Yeah, good, thank you. Yeah, you, all better. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. All better after the victory on the weekend. Come on. Felt, felt good to be able to watch match of the day, eh? Hey, trust bro. me. First time I tuned <laughs> into that, man. I've took that off series record, mate. Oh, trust week. me, bro. That's the do you know what? It's probably been about six months. This is the first time I put it on series league, to be fair. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I'm seeing new studio and everything. <laughs> <laughs> let, let's, let, let's touch upon the um the victory last week you know we haven't had a, many of those especially this season um so it's the, our first victory obviously we beat Norwich 1-0 16th in the league how, how do you rate the performance Maddox Jr it was needed like it's showing promise and obviously I would like to like a bigger win but it's something to grow on something to to look forward to now we've got a win it gives them confidence so hopefully we can go into the next game and win as well and build a little run yeah 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 and what would what would you out of in terms of performance what would you give who was your standout player let me ask you that my standout will have to be Odi Odegaard or the, the new right back man yeah 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 I, um, I say that again he done all right, didn't he? The new he right, done, back. the right back. He done very well. I mean, if we just touch upon um, Odegaard first, I, I liked Odegaard's pressing. I thought he done really well. He was doing things that I feel um, Ozil didn't do. I kind of saw why Ozil didn't work in the way Arteta wants to play. Do you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. Odegaard, he tries to win the ball back. He 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 presses from the front. You know. Ozil does that after we've been complaining at him for 15 matches that he doesn't do it. Do you know what I'm saying? He comes and does it for the first match, maybe the second match, and then he starts being... A little yeah. <laughs> then collects his 350k a week, you know. So I was impressed with Odegaard. Um, Ash, what, 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 did, what was your standout performer? Uh, yeah, I agree with you guys, Odegaard and the right back. I do feel like that we saw how vital Partey is to us as well. When you oh, come on, wow. you could see like yeah. this guy, because even in pre-season, you could see it. Like, that was the worst one to get injured. That was yeah. Injured. Anyone else really, because he was showing such promise. Yeah. And then, yeah, he come on and, yeah, really changed the game. It just gives us that, you know, it goes through, doesn't it, the middle. Like, he does, we haven't got someone like him, do you know what I mean? Whereas Odegaard, you could say arguably Smith Rowe does a similar thing. We've got Pepe, Saka, you know, Lacazette, Aubameyang, Partey, for me, he's very much like, we've got no one like him. So, yeah, so us, I think. Yeah, no, I, I fully agree. I mean, 100% um, agree with you in terms of, of Partey. Um, I think with Partey, when they brought him on, the transition from defence to attack um, is yeah. a lot quicker. It's a lot more quicker, you know. Um, I do like Lukonga. Um, and I think he, he's, he's doing well. Do you know what I'm saying? He's been put in yeah. the deep end. He's, he's had to play Man City and Chelsea. You know, that, that's a hard way to start. Like your, oh. your, if, for, like when you're just starting for a team, you know. Um, but I, I saw straight away the transition with, with Partey was, was, was just quick. And that's, what, and that's what Arteta wants. He wants quick transition. And that's where I feel Lokonga was decent. He, he had a decent performance and he's been decent for us so far. But I feel that he's, and he, I like the way he always tries to go forward. I love that about him. Um, but definitely saw the difference when when Partey came on. Tell me if, if in terms of your centre midfield pairings, would you go with? Um, I'm gonna start with Ash. Would you go with Partey and um, Lukonga, or would you go with Partey and Jaka, or would you go for Partey and Maitland Niles? Or would you not go with Partey? Am I going crazy? <laughs> nah, bro. Partey like, is number one. And then I'd go Lukonga from what I see. Because the thing is, for me, Xhaka, I said it on there last week. I'm done with mm. him. Like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm done. Like, this guy at any point will just pull out a madness. And yeah, I just feel like he's, his time's up. Like His time was up like in the summer. Let's have it right. It just yeah. fell through, didn't it? 
They yeah. wanted to get rid of him, rid of him, and then obviously Edu tried to make it out like, oh no, we've now secured him for three years. I was thinking, mate, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That fell through that transfer, and we've just ended up with him. And for some yeah. reason, we've given him a three-year deal, which I don't understand. I get it to kind of maintain his valuation, and then he, we might be able to sell him next this time next year, sort of thing. But we'll see. But yeah, Lukonga and Jacko would go. So, so even Lukonga even with and Aparte, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so even even with the North London derby, we know that Lokonga hasn't. Well, he's he's new to the to the to our team, so to speak. You wouldn't start with Jaka and Parte. Let me hand it. Let me hand it over to you, Maddox Junior. Are you going to go for the same? Or are you you going to be different? Will it? Tell me, who would you go with? I say Lokonga and Party. Is it? I I still rate Jaka, but. Yeah, game like that, it's, it's, it's risky. Plus, he's been out for three games now. Can't be thrown in a, in a game like that. And he can just risk yeah. again. And I just feel like Lokonga's a better athlete and he's more got better agility. So he, he's, that's needed in the middle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if, if Arteta goes with Partey. Say that again. Yeah, no, I wouldn't be surprised. I think he will. Like, I think you're right. He will go with him. Because for some reason, yeah. Jacker can throw the armband down, try and chip a man inside his five, six yard box, headbutt a man, but he still trusts him. Like, it don't make no sense. <laughs> He's still in the team, isn't he? So he will. And the thing is, like like you guys are saying, Jacker can like play well. Like, no one's doubting. He's a he's, he's a good player, isn't it? Like he, he can play yeah. ten games solid, and then he'll do a madness. That's true. So I'm yeah. just kind of like get him out. Like the Congress showing promise. And to be honest with you, you know what? Really, I don't really. I don't rate Tottenham too tough. I feel like yeah. at home as well, like Lukonga, he just, you know, he's he's already played against, like you said, the two strong teams in City and Chelsea. Mm -hmm. So True. he's already kind of got a bit of experience, low-key experience, but all the same, um, I would go with him, yeah. How about you, G? I, 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 I don't mind the pairing of... See, from, the only thing for me is... I think Partey and Lokonga are very um, similar. I think that Lokonga for me seems like Partey's understudy. And that's no disrespect to Lokonga. Like, I think he's a good player. Um, but they're very similar in their style of play, where I kind of feel that in the way that Partey plays, plays the balls through the lines and, and quick with transition, I kind of feel that with... Jaka, he can spread a ball, um, you know, and and I think he just offers something different in in the way that Partey plays and and the way he passes. I think they, their style of passing is is different, and it so it offers the team a, a lot more. Um, so I wouldn't be disappointed if I did see Jaka and Partey play. I know it's going against the grain, and many of like this guy's crazy. What we've been drinking, um, but. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be surprised with it to be quite honest, and and I wouldn't be against it, so to speak. Um, but that's not to say that I don't like what lokonga has been doing because I think he's been a good acquisition to the team. Um, I agree with you in the sense that with uh, Tottenham, I was watching them against Crystal Palace the other day. Um, to be quite honest, they didn't look that great. You know that um, was it Emerson Royal or whatever his name that right back they bought. Um, they picked the wrong right back, mate. I heard they were going for Tobayasu, and they've gone for this guy because he f plays for Barcelona, mate. They 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 got it completely wrong. He he looks all over the place. But to be fair, he was playing against Zaha, and for one of your first matches against Zaha, that's difficult, man. I wouldn't want to be playing against him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd be all over the place. So yeah, but he didn't look too good. They they didn't look. I think I think they struggle without Son as well. To be quite honest. I think they can get away with Kane not playing, but when it's Son not playing, they really do struggle up front because they didn't really offer anything, if I'm honest with you. The thing is, with them, it's like, it's the difference between us. Like, arguably, we ain't really got world-class players. What Aubameyang was at a time prior to last season, I'd say. But mm. we've got a lot of good players, whereas they have Son or Kane, like, world-class, arguably, I would say, personally, and that's coming from an Arsenal fan. But... You know, they lose one of them, it's massive for them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Kane's, Kane's ankles go every season. Son yeah, yeah, yeah. Now. So 
this is why I just feel like I, I don't want to like jinx it, but I do feel like this is our year. We're gonna, we're gonna come above them this year, lads. I'm telling you. Do you, do you know? I got hundred pound bet as well, man. I put it down when we were six points down as well. Boy, Ash, I feel like this is going to be clipped. Do you know? I think it's going to be clipped. Come on, come on. Yeah, I think it's a bad bet. Yeah, no, I, I hope so. I think I saw a lot of confidence in the team. It was definitely good for the team to get a win. You know, get a victory. They played well. They had a lot of shots on target. Only thing I do worry about is when African Nations comes about and we lose the likes of Partey and Pepe and we're going to have to play um, Xhaka, you know, if he's not suspended or doing something stupid, um, and Lokonga. Um, with that in mind, Maddox Jr., would you bring back Wilshire? Even though he's a number 10, to be fair, but would you, yeah. would you, bring, him, you would bring him back? I don't know what level he's at now, but I'll still bring him back. You would, yeah, yeah, and and have him on a like a pay as you play type thing, or or just like yeah, or like a short term contract. Yeah, okay. Ash, what what were you thinking about the whole Wil Wilshire rumors? Some quotes today, like from Arteta, they were saying, "Yeah, we're helping him. He's going to train with us." But then they said, "Will he play?" And he was like, "I won't go that far." Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah, cool. You can train. You can use our physios and that when you pull your hands. Use the toilets. It's all good. I mean, <laughs> I bet the physios was delighted to see him in it. Just like, uh. I mean, for years. <laughs> so yeah, no. Uh, you know what, Jack, man, he's 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 a gooner through and through, isn't he? So that's what we've been missing a lot in our team characters. Yeah. And this is actually, I was actually going to say when you. Was talking about Odegaard. That's what I love about Odegaard because he's yeah. obviously Norway's captain, isn't it? He's got a bit yeah. about him. Do you know what I mean? He's got some yeah, character. Yeah. He's got some. Do you know what I mean? Leadership. Like we haven't got any of that in our team. Like really. Yeah. Like Xhaka, like is our vice captain. Aubameyang is our captain. Literally through default of him being the best player. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Mm. Not like Aubameyang's just he's on vibes, really, isn't it? He's not really like a leader. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like let's be real, isn't it? <laughs> He's not really a leader, leader, like in the in the sense of like a Carragher, John Terry, like all of these, you know, Gerard over the years. I know they're kind of old school ballers, but I'm trying to think of someone in today's game, even just like people like Maguire, you know, just like tough guys, mm. you know what I mean? Leaders, characters. We ain't got anyone like that. So, yeah, yeah hopefully Odegaard will give that a uh, bit of character. And yeah, that's back to the point with Jack. He he loves the club, in it? So... You know, I'd always like to see him do well, to be fair. But I, I think it's kind of like, no one wants him, do they? So yeah. And that's that's the thing for me. I mean, um, for me with, with Jack, um, if Bournemouth don't want you, then you, you, you're not going to make it back at Arsenal, you know? I don't think he's going to be at the level that we require. Um, you know, it, I think that says it all, to be quite honest. You know, he, West Ham let him go. Um, Bournemouth let him go. Bournemouth are in the Championship. You know, yeah, I, don't know. I, I know he loves Arsenal. We love you too, Jack. But, you know, if you're not levels... I mean, you I'm say not... that, yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you play with better players, you just your game just steps up. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. Well, you know what? Never, I'd, love you never know. Never I'd love know. that to come true. I'll be yeah, real. This you know, guy what I'd like if Jack come back, like, it's not in the same level as, that. Like, obviously, Henry coming back. But, you know, it's just like, he's one of our own, isn't it? Like, he's, yeah, yeah. Jack I mean, like a gooner, isn't it? So. you know what, Maddox Jr., you made a good point, man. Uh, why don't we bring back Omri and, and uh, Bergkamp as well, mate? Um, <laughs> you, know. <laughs> you know, I mean, we, we, we do it for, ch we're a charity for Chelsea, um, so we can be a charity to our own. Like, nah, I just kind of feel his time's gone, to be quite honest. I don't mind him training with us. I think he's, he's given us a lot throughout the years, you know, and he is yeah. Arsenal through and through, and I respect him as a person. Um, but I just can't see it really working out. I mean, if, if Arteta sees something on that pitch and he is better than those um, midfielders that we've got at the moment, then by all means, give him an opportunity. But for me, I would want to bring some a youth player like Charlie Patino or someone like that, give them that opportunity to, to come yeah. through, you know, rather than going he's, back he's, in the past. He's like a young Walsh, did not he? Yeah, 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 exactly, like exactly. And I, yeah. I, and I think he can learn from the whole Walsh situation because yeah, yeah. I think for me... Jack, he 
his tackling was was hor- was abysmal. Like the, those tackles that he was putting in, I think that's those are the reasons that he's his career ended so quickly. You yeah, know, it cost him, man. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The way he used to dive into things and that. Yeah, Obviously, he was a very courageous player. Like so, on that sense as well, he's always going to get like when you're going in for those sort of challenges. He wasn't smart with it. Do you know what I mean? Streetwise yeah. almost on the pitch. Like yeah, exactly what you're saying. Yeah, I think that did cost him. Um, because yeah, he should have. He's he, like on his day. Like when he played, he played in the new camp one year when we used to get smashed oh, yeah. by Barca. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Like, he, yeah. He, he, you wouldn't have seen him out of place in that Barca team. Like that's not even boosting it. Like yeah, yeah. In the yeah. Like, That's how yeah. well Man was playing at that time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He was young, young player of the year, I think. He was that fearless then. Before, so he was he was quality, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, so it's a, it's a shame, really. Like. Yeah, no, hundred percent. I think that you know it was his detriment that he was fearless and so fearless yeah, that those yeah. tackles were happening. I didn't. There were some things that, unfortunately, you know, the whole smoking thing. As a football, I don't really rate that. To be quite honest, um, yeah, hundred. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, like it's it's the injuries that have kind of declined his career. Maybe not the smoking so so much because and didn't even move to the vape or nothing. Just... That's how. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 that's that's what I'm saying. One, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? Top footballers like Ashley Cole, um, I remember Gianluca Viali and them people, Ravanelli and all that. They, they used to smoke time, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they used to smoke at the time, you know. Yeah, so yeah. what would you all right? So we had we had 30 shots. Last thing on that on that Norwich match, we had 30 shots, um, obviously six on target, one goal. Um, is that a positive in the fact that we are creating chances or is that a negative in the fact that we're not putting away our chances, Maddox, Maddox Jr.? It's both. For, like, 30 chances, it's good because we're creating, we're all over the team, but mm. if we're scoring goals, it's, it's, it's negative. We need to be more clinical. Like, like I said, if it's another team, we might have five shots. Yeah. At least two, three goals from that. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to touch on that, Ash? Yeah, no, I, I, I'd be worried if it was like, you know, five games time and that's continually happening. I just think it's kind of uh, the way, obviously, we was in a predicament of like three losses. I think there's a lot of nerves going on in that game. So I kind of just have a bit of an allowance for like, you know, we might not have been as clinical. And yet that, that game was literally, it didn't matter how we won. Like, just get the three points on the board, yeah. you know what I mean? Because yeah. if we would have gone into that, do you know what I mean? If we would have gone in, like, Norwich arguably relegation candidates, you, you can't ask for a better fixture, really, can you? Norwich mm. at home. Yeah. And then and now, really, if you look at it, it leads nicely, doesn't it? Because they Tottenham are playing Chelsea, we play Burnley, and then we play Tottenham. So we could, what kind of, mo- you can't have more motivation than that. We could be playing Tottenham at home, and Arteta is saying to them, "Look, you win this game, you go above them." Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, so it's yeah. Um, it's set up quite nicely, man. Yeah, no, definitely, and I and I just want to say, um, I think for me, um, I like the fact that Ramsdale had a standout performance. I mean, you know, football fans are so fickle. I mean, every single Arsenal supporter during the transfer window was like, like Ramsdale, are you for real? Blah blah blah. Now everyone's I made a awesome. video, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that time, innit? <laughs> <laughs> I remember yeah, that one, video man. actually. I remember that, that video. That one, that one, man. Putting myself <laughs> up all over the game. It was more no. to do with his credentials, innit? And how Arsenal kind of lost Martinez, that a great replacement. Yeah. Innit? And then it's just kind of a shit show, innit? it? Like how how it kind of transpired but yeah sorry bro go on Karen. yeah no i was just gonna say that now everyone's calling for him to replace leno i don't know how you guys feel about that is is that something you would i mean two games in we, football's a funny game would you would you call for um ramsdale to start against burnley um ash i think um i think he probably will man it's like i don't leno wasn't injured was he no nah. he just started so you know I don't think Arteta necessarily fancies Leno, like, because we could have waited, arguably, like, another year to then get this replacement. And it's like, he's gone all out for this Ramsdale. 
because even though mm. they were saying 30 mil at the start, 24 is still a fair bit for, like, when you look at his CV, and even I'm hearing, like, Sheffield United, man, just basically saying, he's not all that, like, we ain't bothered. Yeah, like, yeah, take him yeah. Off, that sort of thing. But he's looked good, didn't he? Like, from what from what we've seen of him, yeah. he's good with his feet, and that's the way, obviously, Arteta wants to play out from the back. We will like, break, like, lines and stuff. It's kind of just, yeah, I think it's good that he's got that, adaptability to not just I think Leno was kind of like tunnel vision he's like okay I'm playing out from the back and then Ramsdale you could see sometimes he's going long as well do you know what I mean so yeah 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 to kind of like change things about so yeah from what I see of him I I hope I can take that video down in a couple of weeks (laughs) 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 hope he proves me wrong (laughs) You get hella abuse soon, bro. Um, but I, I agree, like especially the fact that we're playing Burnley as well. Um, we play a lot of direct football. There's going to be a lot of crosses into the box. Um, Leno, for me, like you said, he, he looks shaky playing out from the back. I don't understand why he always tries to play out from the back if, the, if he can't play out from the back. Whereas we've seen Ramsdale play it short sometimes, but play it long as well. It's like, why was Leno always trying to play out from the back? He made me nervous every single time, but also as well, for me, Leno with crosses is not that guy, you know. Um, and Ramsdale is showing. I think there's some stats saying that in terms of catching the ball um, from crosses, he's the second best in the league, only second to Emi Mar- Mar- Martinez, <laughs> ironically. How ironic. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, he's he's a, he's an England international. He's a young England international. I like the fact that he's very vocal as well in terms of how he plays. Um, and I think he, he's, he's he's come there not to be a second goalkeeper, you know. Sure. And I like the fact that it takes a lot to be st- strong mentally when every single Arsenal fan is giving you abuse for coming to our club, um, in- including you, Ash. Um, and then, and, you know, he comes on, he performs... Within two matches, everyone's kind of saying he deserves to be like the first team goalkeeper. So I uh, respect to him, respect to him for it. I like the, his character. It, you know, he seems like a strong character. I like that. Um, and we need some, like you're saying, we need some strong characters. As with other guards, um, I don't know if you mentioned it. Mate. He needs to be a strong character. Well, that needs there you go. The only way was up for him, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Tomayasu. Yeah, I was going to say Tomayasu as well looks strong as well. I'd like to see him start. I think with Burnley as well, you know, phys- physically they usually kind of bully us as well. Um, the height would be good, wouldn't he? Yeah, yeah, six foot two. Um, right, but I, I like that. I like I like his height. I like the way he was pressing forward as well. Almost scored as well. He looks like a good acquisition to be quite honest. Um, I, I like that signing. I, I think all the signings done well. Even Ben White, even Ben White alongside Gabriel yeah. looks solid, you know, and what a time to have them back together. I can see now what Arteta's trying to do and respect to him because he saw that the 4 2 3 1 wasn't working in the first half. I thought it was very slow. It wasn't really working with Lokonga. You know, we weren't playing too bad. First 20 minutes we played, we were decent. Second half of the first half, I thought we were kind of lackluster, lost our way a bit. Um, after 60th, the 60th minute, he brought on Partey and Smith Roll, and he put in. He, I think he changed it to a four-three-three, um, and it worked. You know, they got the goal, um, and I like the fact that he's trying to he's trying to make changes. I still think he does make changes a bit slowly, but I like the fact that he's trying to first he's trying to slowly bring in Partey because he knows how critical he is to um, our progression. Um, but making changes as well, um, which worked, you know. Um, we reaped the benefits last week. So um, props to Arteta, you know. We, we, we've been very um, outspoken um, and saying, you know, he's not, what is he doing, etc. There's been a lot of negativity towards him. Um, but it, it, it did work the other day. Um, and I hope that it, it pushes forward against Burnley. Um but the problem is he hasn't even beat he hasn't beaten Burnley, has he? It, 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 he's I think we we drew one one with them and we lost one nil as well. And I think the one nil is when um I think Jacko got sent off again. 
Um, so, yeah. you, know, you know what he done, didn't he? He done that. That was last season, man. He flipped. Mm. He tried to chip the guy, didn't he? In the f- six-yard box, he was like about five yards away from him, and he just hit yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, mate, I, I, you know, you slap a man up if they done that in the park. But if they done that in the park, you'd be pissed. This is a footballer. International. <laughs> It's a yeah, madness. Like, eight, like, yeah, he's eight. not even a kid. He's twenty-eight years old. Like, it's, it's, <laughs> it's not acceptable, man. Like, it's not because the thing is, you know, like we've gone through these these sort of things he's done, and it's mm. like when you're like going for seven, for eight, for ninth, it's no real biggie because we're shit. But imagine like you get to a point where we're getting like top four or near there, and he goes and cocks and cup like in the last, you know, one of the last it's games. True. It, it's true. You don't want that liability yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for real, for real. And I don't think he's Arteta's guy to be quite so that whole should have just got rid of him. When they were saying Ted Billier, just just get rid of him, get who you want to get in and yeah. progress forward. Um, I kind of feel that we got to, in some ways we've got to be patient now because we've got to remember we've got six transfers that have come in, and it takes time for players to be embedded into the squad to settle down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we do we do owe him that, um, Arteta, that time to... But you know what? This is his team as well. So he has to start showing, you know, what, what this philosophy is, you know. We've been hearing a lot about it. We, we now want to see it. So... I think he's got a, like a big bulk now of his players. Do you see what I mean? So mm, yeah. I'm very interested to see how these guys work out. Because you could tell, you know, like... The Brazilian connection with Edu, like where David Luiz, like Williams, all of these sort of players, you could clearly see. Don't know how much of a say Arteta had in that sort of thing. Yeah, but yeah. these ones, he's very vocal with like saying, "Yeah, yeah that's, that's my guy, isn't it, Lukonga." Yeah. Um, the right back say say his name again. I keep forgetting it, man. I'm gonna say it wrong, but it's gonna sound right. Tomiyasu. Tomiyasu, that's it. No, yeah, he's saying yeah. it right, bro. Uh, ben White, you know Ramsdale. You can tell that they're right. Ra- Arteta's signing, so let's see, man. Like you say, I don't think is it no bear, no bear. I don't think he's he's he, he's going to be pissed that we won. That yeah, we won. <laughs> <laughs> he was killing me last week. <laughs> yeah, no, for real. He, he'll have something to say. He'll have something to say about the win, though. You know, but and then there wins a win. Out of those transfers that we got, um, Maddox Junior. Who do you feel will be that the best performer of this season? The best. Yeah, who do you think is going to be the best signing? So remember, we've got Ben White, Tavares. It's hard to sing that one, you know. Yeah. I'll say Odegaard, he's close to the top. I don't know who'll be my top, but he's close to the top because what he can yeah. offer. But I also feel we needed a right back. We needed a right back that can attack and defend. Yeah, and I didn't realise that. Control. 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear that, I hear that. So oh, you're saying that was my position. Like obviously that was the last position we filled, wasn't it? The right back. Yeah. yeah. For me, that's what didn't make sense with this whole transfer window. That I thought that was the biggest priority, actually. Right back mm, and okay. the midfielder to yeah. replace Jacker, basically. So like I was thinking Pasuma was like the kind of yeah, guy yeah, yeah. who talked up throughout the summer. Yeah. Prior to that. And then yeah, like we, it was only just the last minute we got this guy in. And obviously, yeah. he's only played one game. looks all right. But I hope... I, the thing is, it's, it's kind of like the Wilshire thing in terms of where Bournemouth didn't want him. Like, people like Chambers. He was on loan at Fulham. They didn't yeah. want him, bro. So why yeah, the yeah. do we want him, bro? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, he's yeah. starting at right back for us. It makes no sense. Like, we're Arsenal at the end of the day. If we want to try and get back to somewhere what we was like, you're not going to do it with Chambers at right back. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, 100%. You, do you know what? For me, I didn't even think that was a priority position, the right back. But I saw the difference when Tomiyasu came in. And obviously, I saw the, the calamity that Chambers and Cedric were at the beginning of the season, to be fair. So, um, yeah, it looks like it looks like we've upgraded in that, in that position. Um, Maitland Niles is. Do, do you like the, the idea of him in, in centre midfield? Um, Ash? Um, I don't know. I was asked this the other day. 
And I just think like his passing range will probably like restrict him from being there. Like I think as well, he's a bit he's always had that where he's a bit too casual on the ball. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes it's not as bad when you're kind of like right back. Obviously, you still don't want to lose the ball in those areas, but you know, centre mid, mm. like especially a pressing team, you ain't got that time to be casual. Do you know what I mean? It's just, yeah. I was actually saying it's, it's a funny one because like it's it's something you could you like to think you can train someone, like you could coach that, in it. You could show him videos and say, mate, you need to have a bit more awareness about you. So yeah, I don't know. I do like Ainsley though. I do like him. You know, like the way he comes up calm for penalties and that. I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he's neat. I, I, again, he's Arsenal boy through and through. So mm-hmm. I'd like it to work out. He's definitely versatile, isn't it? He? he can play a lot of positions. Don't know if centre mid. What do you guys think? Centre mid. Um, Maddox Junior, I will let you answer first, man. I wouldn't say starting, but he's been screaming it for the longest. I think he deserves a chance. But it's just against that like, the big physical teams. I wouldn't put him there. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree. I, f- I think we're quite limited in that position, to be quite honest. I mean, if we look at the other options, Partey, yes. Lekonga, yes. Xhaka, I don't know. Um, sometimes, yes. Um, El Nene, though, man. Come on, man. Like, it's, El Nene, bro. Yeah, that's that what I'm saying. <laughs> that is a bad... You said it's a passport there? job, yeah? Some of these people are he still don't even there, know. Living, living, bro. He don't even know how he's there. <laughs> he's there for vibes as well, isn't he? <laughs> Sitting about in the dressing room and that. Just everyone's best pal, isn't it? Everyone's <laughs> uncle in that dressing that's, room. That, that's how you stay. That's how you stay there, isn't it? Yeah, exactly <laughs> that. Exactly <laughs> that. He's, he's like a good guy. Do you know what I'm saying? That's um, a good guy. That's the yeah. one. Bro. Good professional. Say, good guy. Exactly. Like but our, our options in that position are not great. So... Yeah, give, you know, he's versatile, Maitland now, so give him that opportunity. Like you said, against the bigger teams, maybe not. The physical teams, maybe not. Maybe not. But um, he knows how to defend. Um, so he's, he's definitely a good option um, to have there. And he's been, like you said, he's been screaming it out for the longest time. He went on Twitter <laughs> to scream it, scream it out. Like, I thought, I thought well, that was wrong. He's come back from that, hasn't he? Really? I'm not, boy. Like, some people would just be like, are you mad? Like, yeah. Yeah. What did you think he was going to get from that? that yeah. Right? Thank you very much. Goodbye. I mean, Guduzi, yeah. he, he, he got shot for less. Oh, mate. Guduzi, gonna... mate. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, I was saying, he never saw that guy again. You know, so... Uh, he's out the door, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I hope it works out for him, to be fair. I hope it works out. So, all right. So, Burnley are obviously in 18th position. We're in 16th, so not much better. Um, I think... They've played four, they've drawn one, they've lost three. So slightly worse off than us, our statistics. We're away from home. Arteta's never beaten Burnley, bear that in mind. Ash, are we going to get the victory on the weekend? Yeah. I yeah? Think we are. Mm-hmm. I like yeah, the confidence. What's the, what's the score going to be? Like, Tell me. Yeah. Just just because, well, Burnley's always dodgy in it. Like, they're, you know, Chris Wood up top. Do you know what I mean? It's like building yeah. a scene, you know I mean? Top goal scorer like, last season. Yeah. You know you know what you're going to get. Um, I think if Gabriel weren't back, mm. no. He's, yeah, yeah. he's the right always playing this because they're going to yeah. be playing, obviously, long balls into the box. It's true. Into the channel. I'd definitely have Tommy Asu, is it? Yeah, playing right back. Yeah, he's yeah. That edge uh, with the height and stuff. Uh, and I just like that we've had that one game. Do you know what I mean? We've got the W. There's that pressure's yeah. off now. You've got Ben White and um, Gabriel maturing together. Partey's back. Hopefully, Partey now can start. Mm-hmm. That would be great if he can start. Odegaard's got another game on, under his belt. Do you see what I mean? Everything's like coming together now. Yeah. And there's only one game, but I think, yeah, I think we will. I think we'll win. And really, you can't ask for a better time because Burnley can go through them spells as well. Like literally five on the bounce, not five wins, but just a good period of time where yeah. you know I mean they're in a bad spot. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good time to play them. Do you know what I mean? Especially 100%. with the fans as well. Where the fans are back, the fans will get on them. They're going to be. It's a different ball game now, isn't it? With the fans. So yeah, if we get an early goal. Then yeah, I think I'd like I'd like us to win by a couple, to be honest, but. Yeah, we'll so what, what's the score? Give, give me the result. What's the score? I'm going to go 2-0. 2-0. Yeah. 
Right, we got, we got a 2-0 victory from Mystic Ash. We're going to go to Maddox Jr. What are you saying? Are, we go, are you going for the victory as well, mate? I'm going for the victory, but I don't yeah. think we're going to concede, so I'm going to go 2-1. You're going to go 2-1? Yeah. Okay. You think Jack is back, isn't it? Oh, no, he can't play, can he? <laughs> <laughs> he's, not playing, he's not playing. He's not back till next week. Thank yeah, you. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know why, but hopefully not. But I hope we get the win anyway. See, I don't think... I think we looked a lot more assured at the back and I think we're going to I think we're going to defend I think we will I think it'll be 1-0 I think it'll be 1-0 and uh, we'll hold out for and we'll get the victory and it'll be on to um, was it AFC Wimbledon and then the North London derby um, so yeah we, we've all gone from the victory hopefully we can definitely get it um, you know Aubameyang seems to be coming back I think he's coming back into my fantasy football this weekend Um Ash, don't use that as a little because I'm, I'm in the same league as him. So he's thinking, sorry, I'm Maddox Jr. I'm in the same league as him. So he's thinking, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. You can, you can have him. You can have him. <laughs> oh, is that that? Okay, okay. <laughs> he's like nine, uh, mil, nine points. Sank. He's gone down, yeah. isn't he? I think he was 10 and he's yeah. nine points. Yeah, he's got nine points. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, in terms of um, value. Value. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's a yeah. little bargain there. How much yeah. is Cristiano Ronaldo? He's 12.5. Yeah. Okay. It's cheaper than I thought. I'm, I'm, I'm torn with my team actually because, yeah, I, I want Lukaku in and him. And yeah. It's just madness, isn't it? It's like a quarter of your budget. So yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, He's... Bruno. Yeah, it's long, man. I'm going to have to call in an accountant and everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> right, guys. Listen, thank you very much for your time, man. I do appreciate it. Um, hopefully, yeah, we no. get a victory on the weekend. Um, but you know what? Until then, enjoy the rest of the week. Ash, it's been a pleasure. Pleasure, sorry. Maddox Jr. has been a pleasure. Until next time, people. All take right, care. Peace. Yes, bless, bro.